Hello, my sweets. Welcome back. Today, I decided to share this video because I get asked this question a lot. Would you use the oil that you skim off your all-purpose stew or other stews for? So today, we're making my lazy day jollof rice. But you can also use this oil to make egg stew, spinach stew, whatever stew you want you can even use it to fry your egg because this oil is super flavorful it's just like you buying infused oils from the supermarket so yes that is what we're doing today i hope you've made your all-purpose stew because this is very versatile if you have this at home it helps you out a lot so now let's get into today's recipe which i call my lazy day jollof rice so we'll be enjoying this jollof rice with some turkey wings so to the turkey wings i'll add one spice blend cube and one green marinade to that we'll add our chicken seasoning and salt to taste cover it up and bring it to a boil once it boils we'll give it a good stir and allow it steam in its own juices for about 10 minutes before adding in enough water to cook our turkey until it is nice and done and we are back our turkey wings have cooked beautifully so we'll transfer it into our halogen oven and add some coconut oil to it to give it a beautiful flavor and we'll air fry it until it is nice and golden brown i will stir it in the middle of cooking to ensure that it is frying all around beautifully so here I'm pouring in some of my skimmed oil. To that, we'll add some chopped onions and we'll fry it until it is nice and translucent or about five minutes. Because this oil is so deep and beautiful in color, you may not see when it becomes translucent. To that, we'll add one can of tomato paste. We would be making this jollof rice with just tomato paste so if you've ever wondered if you can make jollof rice or stew for that matter with just tomato paste in case that's all you have at home yes you can and you want to fry it until it separates beautifully like this to ensure that any sour taste is out and when your oil bubbles like that and you scoop and it's separated, you know it is ready. We'll then add in our chopped habanero pepper. You may use any pepper of your choice. Give it a quick stir. And I have here some stock from steaming turkey wings. So I'll add that gradually or little by little and stir when i stir i want the tomato paste to absorb all the stock and then i'll add the next batch this too comes together very quickly because it gets cooked and fried even before we add in any water okay so once i've stirred it in and it is absorbed i'll add a little more again and stay this will build up the flavor like nothing else so you can imagine the oil is already super flavorful and now we're adding this stock that is also delicious and we're doing it step by step thereby adding the flavors layer by layer once we've added the final stock we'll add in enough water to cook our stew which should take about 10 to 15 minutes because this stew have been fried very well already at this point i'll add in some stock cube and salt to taste i'm using regular stock cube because i want everybody to be able to make this without the stress of not having my all-purpose seasoning in case you want to purchase some of my all-purpose seasoning by the way it is back in stock at heritage african market so give them a call or visit their websites to purchase 
yours. I allowed this fry for about 10 minutes and then I'm waking the flavors up by adding some thyme, ground anise and Jamaican curry powder. Give everything a good stir, taste and adjust the seasoning if needed. I felt like it needed a bit more seasoning but I didn't want to add anymore so I added in some shrimp powder and a bit of salt to taste and this right here should be a little saltier than your regular stew would be because once you add in your rice it'll balance out beautifully when I say saltier than your regular stew will be that is to your taste not anybody else's because if it's salty enough for you then it adjusts but for somebody else it may be too salty for you i then went ahead to wash about three cups of jasmine rice and my cup is the eight ounce cup in case you are wondering okay give everything a good stir until each rice is beautifully coated with our Stew. Today's special twos goes to G. Kin Ethia and Harry Ritchie for inspiring this recipe today. Thank you for supporting my work. Allow it to fry until everything begins to stick together like this, meaning the rice have absorbed the beautiful flavors. We'll then add in enough water to cook our rice. The amount of water you add depends on the type of rice you're using, number one, and number two, how soft or single-grained you want your rice. I want mine to be nice and single grain so I added the water to the same level of the rice and once it came to a boil I lowered the heat and allow it do its thing until most of the water have been absorbed by the rice. I'll then give it a quick stir and cover it up and allow it to continue cooking. Because we're using a non-stick pot, you want to stir it more than you usually would because you don't want it to stick on the bottom of the pot. And here we are back to fluff up our rice. And as you can see, it is looking beautiful, not sticking to the bottom of the pot because I'm paying a lot of attention to it. And the type of spoon that I'm using is not gonna break my rice, so it works perfectly. Our rice is almost done and we would be enjoying it with some kelewele. We just cut up our kelewele or plantains to bite-sized pieces like this. To that, we'll add some of our sweet ajele kelewele seasoning. I'll list all the ingredients in this seasoning in the description box, but you can also, again, purchase it from Heritage International Distributors. Add some salt, a sprinkle of water, toss everything together, grate in some onions to wake up the flavors and now we'll let it marinate for about 10 minutes before going ahead to fry it until it is nice and golden brown and there you have it our kiliwili is ready so we'll get it out into a paper towel lined plates to absorb any excess oil. Here I am checking on our turkey wings. It is nice and beautifully ready. So now all that is left because I believe our jollof is ready is for us to serve and enjoy. All are invited to enjoy this deliciousness with me. If you've enjoyed me until now, I do want to thank you so very much. Why not let me know where you're watching from and I'll give you a special too in our next recipe. Also share it to a friend or loved one. They may find it useful. Until I see you in the next one, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke unamini uchemi sweete mahabutu. Bye y'all.